Meanwhile, across the Atlantic come reinforcements for Western air defense, an American squadron of Sabre jets. On December 17, 1950, commander of the 336th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Hinton led a flight of four F-86s over northwestern North Korea. They lured some MiGs into a dogfight by simulating the flight characteristics of the less capable F-80. When the MiGs attacked what they thought were inferior planes, they got more than they bargained for. As Hinton and his wingman chased three enemy jets, the American pilot shot one and saw it begin to trail smoke as he doggedly kept after the MiG pouring fire into it from his nose-mounted 50 caliber machine guns until the plane was a veritable sheet of flame falling from the sky. It was the beginning of the classic struggle of the air war over Korea, F-86 versus MiG-15. This is Combat Tech, and in this episode, we look at the Knights of the MiG Alley. The Korean War was the first of the post-World War II small wars, but the air war over Korea was a throwback to the past as the first jet versus jet dogfights in history resembled those of World War I. At the beginning of the Korean War, the best jet fighter the U.S. had in theater was a straight-wing F-80. The Communists introduced the swept-wing and much faster MiG-15 into combat in November 1950. Accustomed to having the most advanced aircraft, the Americans were shocked to encounter the light, fast, maneuverable, and heavily armed MiG-15. Up to that point, the United Nations Command's air forces had ruled the skies and rained destruction upon North Korean ground forces, achieving decisive results. The MiG-15 changed that, downing fighters and bombers in large numbers. But MiG-15 found more than its match when F-86 Sabre climbed into the ring. Russia. Chinese and North Korean MiG pilots discovered the Sabre was razor sharp. It couldn't fly as high, climb as fast, or maneuver as agilely as its Soviet-made opponent. But it could dive faster and was more aerodynamically stable and had a radar gun sight that came in handy during high-speed jet dogfights. The MiG's cannons fired heavy, destructive shells at a slow rate while the Sabre's guns fired lighter shells at a much higher rate of fire. In the high-speed dogfights typical of MiG Alley, communist pilots found it very difficult to hit the F-86s. On the other hand, Sabre pilots frequently inflicted only light damage because their machine guns lacked the punch of cannons. MiGs flown from bases in Manchuria by Red Chinese, North Korean, and Soviet pilots were pitted against two squadrons of the 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing, forward based at K-14 Kimpo, Korea. On December 22nd, in an engagement that saw six MiGs destroyed, an F-86 Sabre became the first U.S. aircraft to be shot down by a MiG-15. United Nations pilots suspected many of the MiG-15s were being flown by experienced Soviet pilots who also had combat experience in World War II. Former communist sources later acknowledged that Soviet pilots initially flew the majority of MiG-15s that fought in Korea. Soviet and Chinese MiG-15s were marked with North Korean insignia. Soviet pilots even wore North Korean uniforms and tried to speak Korean during their radio contacts with other Soviet pilots. The air divisions of the new 64th Air Defense Corps burst onto the scene in June 1951 in a series of large-scale dogfights with F-86 Sabres over the famous MiG Alley. Because the nationality of these new and unexpectedly tough pilots was far from certain, U.S. Sabre pilots dubbed them honchos, from Japanese for squad leader or boss. The supported in their drive by the latest type of Soviet fighter planes is revealed by the first newsreels captured in Korea. 
showing that Russia is no sleeping partner in this unlawful attempt to control the entire peninsula. So, what were the scores? A recent RAND report made reference to recent scholarship of F-86 versus MiG-15 combat over Korea and concluded that the actual kill-loss ratio for the F-86 was 1.8 to 1 overall and likely closer to 1.3 to 1 against MiGs flown by Soviet pilots. On the aircraft flown by Korean or Chinese aviators, the results were devastating. They were more like 12 to 1 in favor of Americans. Of the 41 American pilots who earned the designation of ace during the Korean War, all but one flew the F-86 Sabre. We call this one a close victory on the F-86 Sabre's side. Let us know what you think in the comments.